Hi, my name is Stephen Parton and I'm an application engineer here at Carolina Motion Control. In today's demonstration, I will be showing the basic setup of a Unidrive M700 family in RFCA sensorless mode. We have an induction motor without feedback and I will go through setting up basic motor information such as current and rated speed, then changing the feedback type in the drive to sensorless. Next, we will perform a rotating auto-tune of the motor, which will get the basic information necessary for control of the motor. The motor has to be unloaded during this auto-tune in order to get accurate results. Finally, we are going to put the drive in keypad mode and run the motor to verify everything is set up properly. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is make sure our drive is in RFCA mode. Uh, in our case, we're going to be doing a sensorless with in RFCA mode with an induction motor. So we're going to default our drive. So if you're not in RFCA and you're wanting to do the sensorless, you would enter in a 1254 and go back and change uh, menu 48, 0, 48 to RFCA. Then we'll press the red reset button. Now what this does is default our drive to USA default, 60 hertz default. So now that our drive's in RFCA mode, we can come down here, enter in the current of our motor. We have a 3.5 amp motor. So we come down here, 1750 is about right, 230 automatic poles, 3K. So again, since we're doing this sensorless, we're gonna come over here to menu three. We like to always do a save parameters. So come in here, press it up once, press the red reset button. So we're gonna come into here and change our RFC feedback mode from feedback to sensorless. So we're going to change that. Come in here and do a parameter save. And then one thing you will want to do, um, as you can see, I do have a encoder trip. Um, this is basically saying if there's a wire break, it's looking for that uh, encoder and it doesn't see it. So it gives you a trip. Um, what we're gonna come in here and do is turn that off. So P1 error detection level, we're gonna make this a zero. And what this does is it no longer will start referencing that encoder port, trying to look for the encoder that's set up. So now we can see our trip has gone away. We'll come back over here and do a parameter save again. Now we will want to perform an auto tune on the motor. And this will run the algorithm to try to determine the uh, position of the shaft based off the poles. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do auto tune two, a rotating auto tune. We're gonna set the drive up into keypad mode. We have to make sure we have a enable signal wired into terminal 31 on the drive. There is a uh, 24 volt power supply on the drive, terminal 22. So if you jump your 22 to 31, you will get your ready. Once we're ready, we can then press the green run button and our motor is now running the auto tune. Your motor will run, and you will want to make sure that the motor is unloaded. So the auto tune is running. Now our auto tune is complete, so we will disable. All right, enable, come down here to menu zero, save the parameters. You can now come back up here to menu zero, parameter 10. Re-enable, give the run signal, and our motor will run based off our speed reference.